I met George 42 years ago. Uh, we started playing basketball together. He was our coach and uh, the recruiter of talent for our basketball team. So what he did over the course of time is he found uh, guys that uh, were really good team players, played great team ball, and over the course of time we became a fantastic basketball team, which was a prelude for his business. George uh, was at the old Marine Midland Trust Company as a trust investment officer and wanted more autonomy and went to a small investment outfit here in Rochester and again wanted more autonomy, wanted to do his own thing, wanted to be his own boss. So he basically bet on himself and left, founded his own company, Carpus Management. In the beginning, it was definitely a a struggle for George and, and the fact that he did have a great following and did have, have some success right away, but he still sacrificed, right? He was coming from a successful background, successful position, but to start his own company, his own brand, his own um, you know, in, investment philosophy, he had to sacrifice quite a bit. I know he always talks about how he didn't take payroll for the first several quarters. We started off in, in cash management, uh, working for, you know, managing small business. They're, 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 um, funds they had for payroll and funds they had to you know meet other obligations. He managed that money. That evolved over time into balance management, equities, fixed income, and really unique investment ideas that either other people were too big to invest in or they didn't want to take the time to understand it. Using closed-end funds as a as an overall wealth management strategy, he he was one of the first ones to to really do that on a on a large scale. In the first twenty or so years. Uh, Carpus investment grew by uh, at least 20% compounded annually, a very significant growth in an industry that's loaded with titans. As the treasurer of uh, the company, it's, it's my responsibility and can even be a uh, career killing uh, decision if you pick the wrong investment advisor. So um, I put a bet on George and, uh, and George, has performed very admirably over the years. To be perfectly frank with you, I think George is really almost a genius. Um, he would take a look at different uh, vehicles, in, uh, investment vehicles, and market inefficiencies, and choose investment vehicles that were risk adverse and could get a, rate, a greater return over the course of time than other ones. And the list goes on and on. He was always researching and doing business with stuff that most investment firms never knew or never considered. If he gets an idea, he fully vets the idea. He can't get it out of his head. He thinks about it at night. He thinks about it in the morning when he's in the shower. He, he comes in, he's like, this is what I thought about all night. This is, got it all written down on a piece of paper. And he, he never stops thinking once he gets a really good idea it, it, until it's the, the full result has been has been realized. I believe George's strongest trait was his work ethic. He worked diligently and hard. He was dogmatic in his convictions. He had a great vision and he executed that vision without compromise. Years ago, he set up the Carpus Family Foundation, a, a private foundation the purpose of which is to make contributions to charities and charitable causes. Carpus Family Foundation was founded in uh, 2014, and uh, it's solely uh, based upon contributions made by George personally into the foundation. I joined the board in 2018, and uh, we have uh, an established series of things that we donate to. I know recently, for example, that he, his foundation or he, have made um, very significant contributions to the Rochester Area Community Foundation, to Lollipop Farm, and to St. Lawrence University, from which George graduated. His basic estate plan is to take care of his exceptional wife, Kathy, and their extended family very well and then essentially the bulk of his wealth will pass to that private foundation to benefit charities literally in perpetuity. George is the epitome of the American dream. 
Uh, he was born and raised in Shenango Forks, New York, the only child of a sixth grade educated coal miner and a mom who worked in a factory, uh, which who developed um, great work ethic in George. But George came from nothing and he paid his dues. He worked his way through the financial services industry and he developed a strategy for investors to provide fantastic services with great performance and results. And because of his capabilities and his dedication to the industry, there are literally hundreds of people in Western New York, hundreds of investors in the country that have profited from George's uh, commitment to the industry.